Hello guys, this is William Alford from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. Today I will be giving a presentation using the oil-based Easy Blade Shaving Gel. Okay, so today I'm doing a mid-fade on this gentleman. I'm using the Walls Cordless Seniors. I have the blade all the way open. That means I have the level all the way open. When you have it all the way open, you're taking less hair off. I started on the side of the temp uh, which is called the temporal section and I made my way back to the lower occipital I'm cleaning it up I'm giving a nice a nice shade using my wrist motion going back and forth and now I'm putting on my one and a half guard same same brand I'm using wall walls plastic guards and um, doing up upward strokes and again I'm creating my nets basically my net shade I always have a comb in my hand too. Always keep a comb in your hand so you can direct the hair the way that, that you want to. And now I'm putting on a, a two guard. I jumped up, I'm putting on my two guard. Same manner, I'm making the same strokes going up. This, this Now this time I'm doing the strokes in more of the parietal section of the hair. You always wanna have a comb in your hand to redirect the hair if it get out of place. Now basically I'm going to work my way back down. I'm starting, I'm going in between everything that I use. That means I'm putting that level to work. Okay, so the level is going to be closed up a little bit. And I want to bl basically blend in the two sections. I want to blend in the one and a half. And I want to blend in that blade, um, which is equivalent to like a one on the side. So I'm going in between those two just to blend that, blend that, um, blend those two shades in. And if you notice, those two shades are becoming one. A nice little transition is going on. Always have your client, like don't be afraid to tilt the head down in the back. Always have your chair pumped up and you wanna make sure that you have very good lighting wherever you work at. Now this time I'm doing cl uh, clipper over comb. I have the blade all the way open. This type of clipper is also called your adjustable clipper. I like to go sideways. The object is to project the hair out 90 degrees. If you project it out 90 degrees, you got the hair standing up and therefore you could end up having more of a uniform consistency. I always like to go back and forth. I always like to go in between whatever steps that I made. I go in between with the, um, like the guard I'm using now is, uh, um, is that is a one guard now i grab my wall detailers and i start outlining around the perimeter i usually start in the temporal section and then work my way down or you can work your way up is your preference but mainly you're using the flat part of the blade and you're also using the corners to get like curves and things things like that I use an underhand in the back just to shave the neck because the neck is a sensitive area. But my line, I usually have the blade facing the client's skin. Around the ears, I'll pull the ears down, curve around the ears. And when I shape up the back, I usually go on an angle Sometimes I'll turn the client's head too, just to make sure it's more precise. But again, when you get toward the bottom, you want to underhand, you just, you know, you want to be conscious of how sensitive um, people's nets can be. You don't want no outbreak, irritation, because the clippers were um, too sharp. Another thing is too, like when you're um, walls, clippers, walls detailers, when you're using the, those uh, clippers, you don't want to, um, adjust them too much to where you don't want to zero gap them too much where it's too sharp 
you don't want to leave like you know you don't want a lot of redness around the hairline the clippers already are good factory at a factory setting you want to know the type of skin that you're working with some people could take you know more sharper detailed you know clippers and other people you know you have to really do a light touch pay attention to that too if you're heavy-handed you know be careful on how you tap on it on the hairline now I'm using my easy blade oil based shaving gel I love the smell of it it's, it has a great smell to it I put it around the hairline it's going to make that razor glide over that skin like like it's butter Now I'm using my Easy Blade razors. Now these things, all you do is snap them. You hear the little snap going on. And then you fold it in half and you snap it. You place it in your razor. I like to have my razor poked out just a little bit so I could be a little more precise, you know, get a little more precise shape up and I know what area um, I'm going to touch. He don't have a full beard, but he's trying to grow his beard out. So he asked me, could I, basically give them the beginners uh, special I like to have the razor when I'm shaping up I like to bring the razor toward me using the freehand method the neck again I'm being careful on how I shave it I want to go in a downward position everybody's skin is different everybody can't take the razor the same Notice that I have my pinky finger resting on the on the tang of the razor and the rest of the fingers are in front of the handle. This is state board required. Now I'm going to go ahead and wet the hair on top. I like to get the shape up out the way before I cut the top. You know, I like that crispy look. So now I'm going to go ahead and scissor the top off. Again, you're projecting the hair at a 90 degree angle. You gotta first initially make your guide. And it's the little things that matter. You notice that I, that I have a beige comb for dark hair. Um, I'm projecting the hair up, you know, doing a snip, doing my snip and make sure that you're not going past the second knuckle. And what I do is I guide the hair toward the back. I'm making sure all the strands are even. there you have it finished product texturize the top out fade on the sides shape up and easy blade shaving gel was used great for softening the skin around the hairline don't forget to subscribe this is William Alfred thanks for watching